So what made you decide to become an autism advocate and actually start speaking up for what you need? A friend of mine, okay? Listen, this not I'm not trying to be funny in this story, but it's just real. Um, I was on 285 Highway uh, about almost three years ago in Georgia, Atlanta, stuff like that. Uh, she picked me up. We had to go to a store, a couple of stores, whatever, whatever. So I forgot that her son has autism. He has severe autism. He's nonverbal. So she knew about my autism and she asked me going down the highway, am I going to come to her church that Sunday and tell my testimony about autism? Because there's other parents in her church that she was going to that their kids have autism as well. And I said, no, I said, you out of your mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to your church and talk about anything dealing with my testimony. You know, she pulled over her car. It was raining. It was pouring down raining. She pulled over her car, told me, get out. Let me tell you something. I'm a big guy, okay? So me walking 30 minutes back, where? I don't know where she, I don't know where, how she got on the highway or mm -hmm. where I'm going. It's pouring down raining outside. I mean, pouring. <laughs> so she was like, if you don't want to tell your testimony, she said, how dare you? God allowed you to speak. You educated. You could be worse off than what you are. But you don't want to tell the, the miracles and the blessings of God. You want to keep it in. Mm. She said, so get out of my car. You're going to walk. Don't contact me. Don't do nothing. I was like, hold on. Flag on the plate. Hold on. Flag. Flag. Hold on. Time. Flag. You do know it's raining outside. I don't care. I don't care. I have to see my son not speak every day. And knowing that I got a, a friend that has the same thing and you speaking and you don't want to speak out for others. I said, listen, okay, where you, what time your church starts? What time, <laughs> what, what time, what time your church, what time your church starts? Because it really is raining. It really is raining right now. So I didn't know when I went to her church and I started telling my story that all these people was coming up to me asking questions and different things and looking for advice or whatever. It, the embrace was so powerful and it was so loving. I will never, ever forget it. That was almost three years ago. So I made a vow to God myself and her, mm -hmm. that however long that I have on this earth, I will only not only use my testimony, not to, I only use my testimony to bring awareness and inclusion, but I will make up different things like clothing lines, music events, magazines, and everything else to include not only myself, but every autism person worldwide, be able to spread their stories through docu-series and, doc and other documentaries. Because it's not just my voice, it's many other voices that needs to be heard through this community that we live in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's talk specifically about the Black community. Okay. So is there any part of your advocacy work aimed to break the stigma of how autism is viewed specifically in the Black community? It's about to start. It has not been in the past but it's about to start. Uh, me and my team, we're getting together. Like I got to um, speak at the NAMI in Durham, North Carolina. That's the National Association of Mental Illness. Um, yeah, in Durham, North Carolina here. And we're going to be um, talking about, and to the sheriff and different police, because they have to understand, number one, all handcuffs is not made for everybody. So you have to be vigilant and know how to use the handcuffs that you are provided with. And you have to understand when a, uh, a autism individual is having a emotional behavior or they are having a tender tantrum or they're having uh, you know, a different way to communicate, that don't mean that you put your handcuffs on them. That don't mean that you tackle them and restrain them. They don't, you have to find a way to where they feel comfortable in their communication because they're trying to communicate something to you. You just not understanding it and you feel it to be a threat or to be um, a violation of, of, of maybe a school policy or, or whatever type of policy. So you want to enforce your law. So you want to enforce restraint instead of understanding and communicating to them in the way they can understand. So, yes, we're going to start teaching what is what will be called autism police enforcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is so important because 
we've talked on this podcast before about the higher risk of people with autism being arrested because of exactly what you're saying. It's like a lack of understanding, really, a lack of training. And I think what you're doing, um, speaking directly to the organizations that need to hear it, um, will just bring about more productive change. Um, another thing me and my team is going to want to present to them is if there's some type of badge or pin that or necklace or something that an autism individual can wear when they're going out to where that the police will see it and know it and recognize it. Like, okay, this is an autism individual because we done seen this logo. We done seen this necklace and stuff of that nature is in our database system. We understand it. So, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, you shouldn't deal with an autism individual at all when you are police. You just know, need to know the proper ways of dealing with an autism individual when you are police. Mm-hmm. And stop looking at everybody in the same eye because how they act, another person may not act. And it may be more of a deeper emotional and and um, deeper emotional reason why the autism individual is acting the way he or she is versus they're trying to commit a crime or versus they're trying to become a um, disturbance. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.